I'm here today with another power station, and I really like this one. About 10 days ago, the house flooded, the basement flooded. We had about four feet of water down there. I, it's gonna be hours till I can get down here and actually see what's going on. But first, let me tell you kind of, you know, what's going on with this thing. So this has a 2,400 watt power output. It's got a 2,048 watt hour battery capacity, which came in real handy. You know, you could take this like camping, uh, with something like this size, you could probably get by doing like a microwave or a TV. Obviously, it's not going to last a long time doing a microwave or something like that. But it does have that that capability if you needed it. Since it is lithium iron phosphate, you'll get about 4,000 charge cycles before it starts to drop to like 80% capacity. So, you know, if you used it every day <laughs> once, you know, that's like 10 years. Uh, it does charge pretty fast. It'll go from 0 to 100 in about two hours. You know, it flies up so high and then it slows down to protect the battery. Now this thing is a little bit heavy. It's not the easiest thing to lug. Um, I got it up and down the stairs pretty easy, but I am a bigger guy. So keep that in mind. Again, that's just the, that's the battery capacity. If you want a battery that size, it's going to be that big. Sorry, I got this door open. This is a little, one of those doors where you can like store your cables. So it's got tons of ports. You get two uh, quick charge 3.0 and then you've got four uh, USB-C's, they're two or 320 watts and 100 watt. It's got a little light, you know, those come pretty standard. You have some 12 volt stuff going on here that you can do. Then around on the side, see this one's heavy enough that it's hard to slide with one hand. Okay, there we go. So you're not gonna be able to see that very well. I'm gonna lower the camera. You do have six ports. What else? It does have a battery management system that'll protect it from overcharge, over voltage, stuff like that. Uh, even temperature extremes. And surprisingly, this thing comes with a seven year warranty. That's pretty crazy. It's, it's cool that a company's gonna stand by their product like that. So I have schmutz on there from the basement. So this is their AF uh, P210. This is A-F-E-R-I-Y, Afery, Fairy, I don't know, but it's A-F-E-R-Y. And I, I genuinely like this thing. So if you've seen the other video, our basement flooded and I don't have any outlets that work down here other than this one and this one. So I needed to run this fan. So perfectly used for this power station. I also got my ozone generator and now I can kind of move this around and I may even run the dehumidifier off of it for a while. So yeah, like this thing worked great in the basement there before I could replace the outlets. Uh, you know, I had to get air circulating and stuff and it was able to handle that just fine. Running the fan for roughly 24 hours. Um, I did run the ozone off of it some, which used considerably more electricity, but that was pretty cool. It really helped out there. Some of my other power stations, they're much smaller. I was having to go down there every eight hours or so and change them out for fans. Whereas this thing, I just put the biggest fan I had, well, the most powerful fan I had on and let it rip for 24 hours at a time. I would swap it out with one of the other power stations, come upstairs, change this, and then take it back downstairs in a couple hours. Uh, I really, really do like this thing. My only complaints are, this is purely a personal thing, but like the numbers just feel ridiculously large. <laughs> I don't know why, it just kind of bothers me. Um, I think it's redundant to have the battery bar and the percentage too. Just, you know, things that don't actually impact the battery whatsoever. But again, that's like my only complaint. Um, pfft, like, this thing's great. I love it. So just real quick here, because I forgot to mention it. Man, that thing is a little hard to move with one hand. There is an XT90 connector down here for solar input at 11.5 to 50 volts, uh, 500 watt max. So you do have that flexibility. And yeah, it's really nice that it doesn't use one of these stupid barrel jacks. Some of these companies put these barrel jacks in here for the solar, and it's really annoying. I like the XT90. It's a pretty versatile connector, or pretty pretty easy to manage connector. The actual solar connectors that people use, you know, those, I forget what they're called, but you, you have the two big ends and you put them together, and I can never get those stupid things apart without a tool. The XT90 just pops right in, Bob's your uncle, and you're good to go. Anyway. I really genuinely like this thing. This is better than the uh, EcoFlows that I have. It, it's actually a little bit less capacity than one of my EcoFlows, but I just, the amount of ports it has, the kinds of ports it has, I really appreciate because it's got all these USB-C. So much of my stuff uses USB-C now and my um, EcoFlow doesn't have USB-C at all. So yeah, I like this thing. So I just came down to check on this. 
it's been running for about uh, 20 hours. So it'll run the fan at least at full speed for about 24 hours exactly. And I did run the ozone generator for about 10 minutes when I left the house for a couple hours yesterday. And uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you could obviously use this for all kinds of stuff, but this happens to be what I'm using it for. I'm gonna trade it out with a different power station so I can recharge it. That's gonna be sunny out, so maybe I'll even recharge it off of solar to <laughs> alleviate my cost on all of this disaster. You know, got a lot of work here to do still. And it's gonna be real nice when I put it in there because the water doesn't really drain out of there and that wood kind of soaks it up. So I'll move that there in a day or two and run the fan in there. Maybe even run the dehumidifier off of it for a little bit. But yeah, um, this power station is really helping me with this. I'm gonna have to get down in here and clean up all of this. And the outlets over here have kind of shorted out. So until I change them, I don't want to use them or I can't use them. And uh, yeah, I'll probably run the shop back over here off of it too at some point, just to help me clean up this dirt. I'll get it a little bit wet and suck it up. I found it's a lot easier than trying to mop it all towards the drain and then the drain gets clogged and everything. But yeah. I'm uh, I'm really loving this one. This is legitimately the best power station I have now. It's the biggest capacity. It has handles where my next biggest one doesn't. It's just like I'm really glad I had this one.